Wait for it, wait for it. Okay, okay, we are live. Yay, we're back. Gosh, haven't seen you guys last year, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, it's just been a really crazy week because uh, basically, if, if you saw the little thing that I pre taped, uh, just a few minutes after that, we had to pile up in the car and go down to Lake Charles. And uh, then in Monday, we were back in Lake Charles and then driving back through all that crazy rain and storms and stuff. And then Monday, we get back down to Lake Charles. So uh, it's it's been really crazy, but at least we're back to um, having serves. We, we were looking forward to this all week. So I hope you guys are doing well. I'm, we're, we're both glad to be back. Hi, so, everybody. Yeah. Hello, Jack. <laughs> Love so, you, Robert. <laughs> Yeah, and I I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the the uh, little animated video that we did um, because it also premiered um, a week ago, and uh, you know it's very busy working on that all through December, and uh, we I, I hope we had fun recording for did you Darren? Yeah, <laughs> I think Darren is very tired tonight, so yeah, so uh, but but. Um, actually, the, the video uh, was just in time for uh, uh, the holiday you know, that, that we're observing this time because it's the Feast of Victory. So um, I, I hope you guys had fun with it. Um, it, was, it was really nice to get back to putting animation together, even if it was limited. You know, it was, it was still a lot of fun. So, yeah. Um, so we will go ahead and get started. And I know people are going to be kind of joining us and I'll sort of keep an eye out. I see. Um, I sarcastic. Yes. And yeah, that's right. And it is also the full moon tonight. So we got lots of good things going on. And uh, hey, Alex and uh, lots of folks and Mario. Uh, Mario, I hope you were able to get because I, I, I did see where uh, I think, think you were the one that had uh, asked for a fortune. And uh, I, I pulled it like right after the video and put it in a comment uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, let's see, and Alex says, can I have prayers for uh, emotional strength and dealing with trauma? thought someone made a joke about something that happened to me. It was really triggering, and I called them out on their BS. Um, absolutely. Well, we're going to ask Horace to um, give us strength to help us get through a lot of things that are going on. Yeah. So. With that, with that said, I'm sure we're about to perk you up, up at least for a minute or two, Darren. <laughs> so these cool waters are upon my hands, and they purify me. This tefnit purifies me. Hail unto you, and unto you. We come unto you without falsehood or without evil. Our purity is upon our hands. Our purity is within our hearts. And we've cast out all evil that pertains to us. We are pure. We are pure. We are pure. We are pure. Just when I thought you were too tired. If I'm too tired to do that, worry. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so we also need to uh, send out prayers for uh, our, our good friend Preston, who's on his way home, um, back to Tennessee after staying with us for a little while, and um, hopefully we'll be hearing from him really soon. Oh, did it's you? Been fairly cool. I left it. Weather, so. Yeah. 
Yeah, he was with us when we uh, were, were coming back uh, through all that, that rough weather on Monday. So, um, yeah. But we made it through that. Hopefully he's, you know, almost home now. And actually, he's, he's headed to, uh, uh, of course, just, you know, an hour south of where you are. So. Come in peace. Right, Eye of Horus, come in peace. Receive the light. Receive the light. The Eye of Horus shines like Ra in the twin horizons, and evil hides in fear of it. Receive the light. The Eye of Horus destroys the enemies of Ra and all of their abodes till none remain. Receive the light. Receive the light. The Eye of Horus comes to the four corners of the world, to everyone who is tuning in right now and in the future. This Eye of Horus comes. And we are purified with it. Receive the light. Receive the light. And we'll light our candles. Our mama segment. That she may bring healing to those who need it. And for our patron Pharaoh, who may well have uh, presided over an earlier form of the Feast of Victory during his lifetime. You'll rise in the Akhetis Kepri, O Ra, spreading your light upon the earth. You sit in peace in the mountains of Menu as a tomb, bringing your light to Duat. Shine upon earth as you do in heaven and Duat. Hail and praise unto you, O Ra, who came from noon at the first time, for such is your uniqueness. Hail and praise unto you, O Ra, who placed Hu at your left side, for such are the words you commanded. Hail and praise unto you, O Ra, who placed Sia at your right side, for such is your great wisdom. Hail and praise unto you, O Ra, whose Hika goes before you, for such is your ability. Hail and praise unto you, O Ra, who rules with Ma'at upon your brow. For such is your righteousness. Hail and praise unto you, O Ra. Hail and praise unto you, O Horus, son of Aset, and Aset, mother of Horus. Hail and praise unto you, O Yenichiru, you lords of love and lords of life. Grant us life, well-being, and health. May our eyes perceive your goodness and our hearts receive your wisdom. May you shine upon us as you traverse the sky that we may bring to you Ma'at and cast out his fet. And may you guard us from the evil one through the dark hours of the night, your protection being before us and your strength being within us. <coughs> and in case anyone is uh, listening in and not really able to see if, you know, what our setup is, of course, we've got, as I mentioned earlier, I have candles for Sekhmet and for uh, some artwork of, you know, King Tut, our patron pharaoh, but uh, in the center I have a statue of Horus uh, in, in our little uh, uh, painted boat because for the Feast of Victory, uh, he was portrayed as uh, taking a, 
a, a papyrus skiff out into the marshes um, to, to harpoon the hippopotamus that represented Set. And we have Isis seated next to him. So, um, And we had a, a fun time figuring out voices for the ten harpoons. So uh, if you if you get to check if you haven't you, you really should check out that video because it is actually based on the uh, uh, the the texts that were used in uh, the the ritual drama um, that was adapted you know in the 1970s but um, of course we we shortened it a little bit because you know the, the original is you know um, quite long um, but uh, it's it's drawing from from the same things in the the uh, the names of the, the harpoons and everything are the same. I did think it was cute that Ptolemy, at the end, that was like, wait a minute, I'm the king of Upper and Lower Egypt. <laughs> yeah, well, and, and see, the thing is, especially by the time of the Ptolemies, uh, there was kind of an undercurrent um, to uh, the the Feast of Victory. Uh, and and uh, in the same temple they have recorded, you know, during the, the Feast of the, the Coronation of the Sacred Falcon, they would bring out a live falcon and they would actually go through and name off people, you know, who should be, you know, uh, uh, who should receive the crown of Horus and, and uh, through the priests or whoever, you know, they would go through the names of all these people and, and Horus, Horus's oracle would say no. And so finally they would uh, crown the, the falcon instead. And, and that, uh, I bet that's Preston, uh, but, but that uh, has a, a political undercurrent to it, you know, saying that, that uh, uh, there's, you know the the person that's in charge. We don't we don't really recognize him. We only recognize, you know, Horus the god. You know, and so uh, there might have been an undercurrent of that in the, the Feast of Victory as well. And and if you read the text, uh, Ptolemy kind of sounds like a fanboy. So we just said, you know, because he, his whole purpose is he's he's supporting Horus, and so he said, well, let's let's take it and and really, you know, play with that. And uh, uh, Morgan Morgan did the fanboy bit to a T. So. <laughs> So it, it was, you know, there's there's some legitimate uh, uh, themes and motifs going on in there, but we we just you know presented it, you know, in in a, a modern package, and it was a lot of fun, especially drawing up a, a Chibi Ptolemy. So. And so. We're going to start with our usual offerings, and uh, then I'm going to, uh, once once we do that, then we'll read from uh, the, the ritual that's in Circle of the Sun. Although uh, I'm not going through the, the full thing because we don't have a space to, you know, uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, that, that was our friend Preston. Uh, Darren's going to call him back. And yeah, he's a big anime fan, so we had, that was the, you might have heard the, uh, that's the, the theme to, uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion. So anyway, but that's that's one prayer answered. We know that he's safe and sound. <laughs> so, we offer these waters. Take these, your cool waters, which are the inundation, that they may cool your hearts. Oh, you know, Chiru, these waters are the eye of Horus that your hearts may be refreshed. Milk, milk, may you taste it in your shrine. May your hearts be refreshed with it. We bring you this milk from the great flood, Oyemechiru, that you may be purified with it. Get my sandalwood. We give you incense. We give you incense, great of purity. Its fragrance is the eye of Horus. It comes to you 
It cleanses you. It adorns you. It takes its place upon your hands. Oyinachiru. This incense is the eye of Horus. And its fragrance comes to you. Take this. Your bread on which gods live. This bread is the eye of Horus, so you know what you do. Lift it to your faces and be at peace with it. And a little bit of cross-cultural influence. Uh, one of the offerings on here is uh, uh, red bean mochi, which uh, mochi is a, a New Year's food, um, especially the the, uh, the traditional mochi that's not the candy, that's actually, you know, puffed rice flour on our, our neighbor, Mama Chan, um, introduced us to that. And that was a traditional New Year's offering. So, um, so the, in addition to chocolate, the guys are getting New Year's mochi. And may the gardens that are growing now and there will be when the weather warms. And the gardens prosper and happy rejoices, overflowing with his meal. We fill the eye of Horus for you with wine, or raw. We you to drink and be pure. The doors of heaven and the doors of earth are open with libations for you within this house. May your faces be refreshed with your libations. Your wine and your water. Mm. Pure, pure as Ra Horaketi within his house. Pure, pure as Horasaset in his house. Pure, pure as Aset, great of magic within her house. Pure are the cause of all of these gods, with this good myrrh that is given. Jehuti proclaims it. It is written in his house of sacred words. Hapi gives in abundance, thousands of offerings, all things good and pure. For Rahorketi, for Aset, for Aset, in every place that their immortal cause dwell. Come to your body, O Rahoraketi. Come to your body, O Horasaset. Come to your body, O Aset. Come to your body, O Yunachuru, and come to your invocation. Come unto us your servants who are mindful of your feasts and your offerings. Bring your power, your hika, your honor, and your ba to these, your offerings, and partake of them. Come, O people. Raise these offerings before the faces of these gods. Lift the offerings before Ra, before Horu, before Aset. All life comes from them. All health comes from them. All stability comes from them. All good fortune comes from them as it has since the first time. Horaketi, and your son, the Osir Nisu Nekepra Ra, your foes retreat from you. Horus turns himself to his eye. Turn yourselves to these, your offerings, and receive them from our hands.
And now, from the table of the gods, to the table of the blessed dead. We light this candle that it may be the eye of Horus that lights their way in Duat. And we bring them these cool waters from the table of Osiris that their hearts may be refreshed. Horekeru ta henket ka kao abdu se nechur murha, kud nibet nafra wabet al ket nachurim, en kao en aku ku nibu, ma kere nibu hiru nachura. A voice offering, bread and beer, a thousand of beef and fowl, incense, oils, and all good and pure things on which a god lives. For the cause of all of these aku, all true of voice before the great God. Okay. And now we come unto you, O Ra, as Jehuti comes, our hands joined under Ma'at. Ma'at has come to be with you, in every place where you are. An offering of Ma'at is made unto you, that your heart may be pleased and your ka shall live. Truly, your Aeneid has Ma'at, for they know you live in her. The Aeneid says unto you, your word is law, eternally. The spat is cast out by your word. Rejoicing is yours every day. Ma'at has taken her place in your shrine. And may we always act with gentility and compassion, for such is the first Ma'at. May we always offer charity and hospitality, for such is the second Ma'at. May we always respect consent and fidelity, for such is the third Ma'at. May we always avoid violence and promote wellness, for such is the fourth Ma'at. May we always speak words of truth, such as the fifth Ma'at. May we always promote the public good, such as the sixth Ma'at. May we always act humbly and with temperance, such as the seventh Ma'at. May we always honor our gods and respect others, for such as the eighth Ma'at. May we uphold Ma'at like Jehuti, that we may witness Ra's perfection every day. Okay, I'm just going to peek over for a minute. Uh, yeah, actually, I'm stabbing him in his gel chorus. But, uh, but yes, I, I, yes, remember, that was Amy Gillen. <laughs> oh, and uh, Dominic, um, uh, hey, Marinkovich, hey, right now it's 4 a.m. and I'm not sleeping, yay, insomnia. Anyway, it won't stick for long. Happy New Year for all and have a good service. I'm so glad you could peek in. Um, Teresa, it's not like I can't sleep, but it seems like I really didn't need those eggs for dinner. Um, you know, um, you, you might, you, you might be having some indigestion problems and that can contribute to, uh, uh, not sleeping. I, I went through that last year. So, uh, uh, go to the doctor and get that checked up. You, you might, uh, discover something that if you can get that fixed, it'll help you feel better. Earlier. Uh, sarcastic was saying that uh, they were about to offer uh, water and they turned and their cat was drinking the water before yeah. they offered it. So they said, oh, I have to dump that out and get a new one. Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, 
I see that. Well, uh, I, I guess Bass helped herself. <laughs> oh, and Alex says, I'm also dealing with losing my job unfairly. They said something about my attendance record that they never said to my face. So I was like, oh, man. I, I went through something kind of similar where um, they they did not inform me properly the right way to sign in. And uh, uh, so that looked, you know, uh, may, it made my sign in record look worse than it really was. And, um, you know, uh, it's, it's been more than 10 years and I, I, I still, you know, have uh, ill feelings towards certain people that I used to work with. Um, I can. But but you know what? Um Getting out of a toxic job or a job where, where somebody did something bad to you like that, uh, here's here's praying that it will be a, a it opens up for better opportunities for you. So, uh, yeah. But uh, <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, I know. Uh, Alexander Hill is 1013 where I am really craving Chinese food. Um, I don't know. The big cities have been where they've like delivered Chinese at like until like two in the morning, but you could have been in a big city for that. But uh, as for how's Morgan doing, he's, he's home and resting. Um, I did, did he peek in on the game? At uh, one point? Okay. Well, my, I think it was like last week. Um, you have to get the spatula and flip my brain to find out. I <laughs> is, is Preston all right? He is. He's fine. He's on baseball. Okay. Okay, good. Yeah, and, and I made I make custom ringtones for people, so that that that's uh that's a, that was a custom ringtone. Of course uh, some folks gotta kick me like, oh my god, is that Evangelion? <laughs> yes. Yeah yes. he's changing you cowardly bastard okay. no way. Actually you know what if if you want if you want about an hour of cheap entertainment, get Morgan hopped, hopped up on coffee and then ask him about Evangelion. Uh, he he treated us to a, a, a caffeine-fueled rant about it Yes. Um, on the way home from convention. That was really funny. But, I'd be uh, afraid to see him on illicit substances. Huh? I'd be afraid to see him on illicit substances. Yeah, some people don't need those. Okay. Well, we're at the point now where uh, usually we would be reading hymns, or in this case, um, because, you know, we're, we're celebrating uh, Horace's victory over the forces of evil, which, you know, in the Ptolemaic, you know, temples that was represented by Set. But uh, we can, you know, uh, broaden it to include anything negative. And see, the, the purpose of these rites, uh, I, I think, you know, especially because... Uh, the way some of them were written, it says you write down the names of, you know, the enemies of the state, you know, and things like that. And, and anyone, that, anything that you fear, you know, so uh, the things that we don't have, you know, uh, we don't know how to deal with them in our lives. Um, we, we give them to Horace and say, you know, Horace, you know, stab it in his junk for us, please. You know? So, uh. And since we're, you know, in a room with things, you know, we don't want to be like lighting something on fire. Uh, another thing, and, and this is something, if, if you have something that you want to seal up and, you know, make it, you know, uh, uh, in, in a spiritual sense, you know, block it from, from bothering you. Uh, one thing that I've done with things is drip white or red, and in this case we're using red, red wax on something. And that's like a, it's, it's psychically closing it up and then you can burn it, bury it, throw it away, get rid of it. You know, but, but you're putting, the, you're slamming the lid on it before you, before you tell it adios. So, uh, I don't expect awesome. everybody, huh? The color black is good for binding things too. Yeah, and, and uh, it's funny, the, uh, the the Egyptians would use black cord as a binding, but uh, I think they would use it for protection. And it was associated especially with Anubis. You know, black cord and, and black binding is, is his specialty. Yeah, and if you're wanting to represent, you know, an enemy, um, you know, you're putting it in red, you know. 
So, you know, later on, you know, the, the, all the, the taking right down all the things that are that are bothering you or that that you want to be rid of it. You don't want it to be a, a problem for you anymore. And you write that down. And um, just writing down. Give me just a minute to scribble something. Something that I think Horace is rather good at. And now, I'm putting this on the floor, so it's it's not on the altar itself, but we will use our eye of Horus to light this candle and drip wax onto it. And referring from here, O oh, Horus, guard us from the evil ones as a wall around a fortress as a watchman over his village. The gods of the sky are in terror of Horus. He takes hold of the harpoon shaft, for Isis is its mistress. She forgets not the night of flood, forgets not the hour of turmoil. Hold fast, Horus, hold fast. Horus forever holds power over Set and the Mozabadesh. Their evil turns against them, and their sins return to them. Set fought to oppress him, but Horus has defeated him. And um, another thing that, that comes from here is uh, it's from a, a text from Abydos, actually, but it was uh, an execration rite. Be annihilated. In this case, it calls on Set, but Again, to all evil, be annihilated, and your followers, be annihilated. You shall not exist, and your souls shall not exist. You shall not exist, and your bodies shall not exist. You shall not exist, and your children shall not exist. You shall not exist, and your flesh shall not exist. You shall not exist, and your bones shall not exist. You shall not exist, and your magic shall not exist. You shall not exist, and no place where you are shall exist. Justified is Horu, Lord of Behdet, against Set and the Mozubadesh. Justified is Osir, Kentiamentiu, against Set and the Mozubadesh. Justified are all of the gods against all of their enemies. All right. And so now we have a very waxy paper in a uh, an old pie tin. So. <clears throat> oh wait, Horace is going to be back here. Okay. Praise unto you, God of Behdet, Lord of the sky, splendid winged disc who shines in the horizon, you beautiful sun who illuminates the darkness, splendid child who illuminates the earth, Iris of the Ujat who lights the two lands with his rays, fair of face, hovering one, armored, majestic, clothed in gold, you arise as Capri when you emerge from Nanet, your rays spreading over the world, shine upon earth, as you do in heaven. O Horus, the great god, lord of the sky, great falcon, dappled of plumage, ruler of flying, winged disc upon the two lands, see a falcon united with the sun, holy god, falcon of gold. Okay.
And now it is time for everyone's favorite part. Let's make a dope deal. What? Oh. <laughs> okay, Darren. For those of you kids too young. That's from Cheech and Chong, isn't it? Yes, and okay. it's spoofing an old game show. Called Let's Make a Deal. Yeah, uh, now Wayne Brady has hosted the modern version for years. Of Let's Make a Deal? Yes. Oh, okay. No, him with Let's Make a Dope Deal would be hilarious for okay. that. See, see, I don't see that's something I don't quite get. But... Right. But okay. <laughs> the Cheech and Chong skit, Let's Make a Dope Deal. It's hilarious. Oh, okay. I say. I'm sure it's on YouTube somewhere. It's. Yeah. Now, kids, there's no video for this sketch. Oh, that's right. It was a. Uh... It's all things called. A record. Well, yeah, it was it was a comedy record. Yes, it was yeah. a comedy record. Yes, yeah, so it started almost like more like a radio show kind of. Yes. Thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. So says, "I love hyper rants on things. It's so cute to watch. You know, ADHD nerds go off on a topic they're interested in. Yeah, that would. And that's exactly what happened with Morgan. Yeah. The, yeah. Although it's because he doesn't like Evangelion, so it was you know what I can't stand about Shinji. And, um, and that that just made it funny. Fuel that with really good caffeine. Yeah, yeah, really good coffee, and, and yeah, yeah. Yeah, poor guy. I thought we were gonna have to like knock him over the head to give him shit up. <laughs> okay. Okay, and I, uh, by the way, uh, uh, Dominic M is come tuning in from Eastern Europe. It's like four in the morning over there. Oh, and, uh, way to go, badass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's, uh, welcome, welcome. Yeah. Uh, he's he's on the uh, the, the the Facebook group. Yeah. Cool. But uh, hail to to Nemkepu Ra to Tankaman west of Thebes and to Raho to Keti, uh, Lord of the Sky. May they give us a bright new day and good health for my family. Absolutely. Uh, Kayleen's and I'm late late today, but uh, we love you anyway. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Um, the work cover scheme because of the it was such a job. Yeah. Um, and uh, Kayleen is is, is uh, tuning in from down under. So. Yeah. Enjoy your adventure, mind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and uh, Adrian, I can't wish we could open up a temple that could also double as a historical interpretation museum. Yeah, that kind of thing would be really fun. And uh, I, I, you know, I think about this sort of thing too. You know, wouldn't it be great to have a physical space, but uh, be able to do something with it? You know, like like people could, you know. Uh, um, and there'd be a, a space that's like just decorated. People could have theme parties or something because that's that's one way. You, you know, you charge the rent, and that actually you know gives you know the something back to the the, the church. But that's uh, you know that that's still a ways out yet. So you know don't you know uh, uh, in the meantime when this we is win the lottery. All right. Well, this is our physical space, and any, wherever your shrine is right now, that's also a part of the church. So. So go ahead if you guys have got some uh, requests for fortunes, go ahead and put those up. And uh, okay, see Dominic. Uh, <laughs> like a divination, please. Uh, what would the year be like career-wise? And will I work abroad? Oh, and Kayleen says I. Well, love if you're nice to her, you might. But oh, uh, the, the joke was there. I had. I, yeah, it. yeah. Well. Um, If I must explain that, I will. But <laughs> I'm tired, not dead. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, Dominic and then Audrina. And um, yeah, it's 80, yeah, 86 degrees down where Kayleen is. Um, okay, and sarcastic. All right. You know, first of all, let's let's start with one for everyone. I'd As, like one for the year, then one for everyone. Well, let me. So some folks are asking for that for the year, you know, what's the year head going to look like. But uh, this is this is something for like so if someone's tuning in after the fact and, and they don't get a chance to, to request something, okay. this this is for everybody. So this I set the time for how how will the year start out? You will be happy to receive good news. Hey. Yeah. Cool. That, um, that's for everybody. Uh, that's quite auspicious. 
Yes, and that's that's for everyone. Good, because uh, uh, the first first the almost week of, of this year has been kind of hectic. So, uh, uh, good good news is certainly welcome. Okay, and now for Dominic. Wow, that's unique. Dominic, this is your lucky day. You've got three of them that came out. But don't worry, we have plenty more, guys. So I, I guess they were waiting for an opportunity to tell you some things. So let's start with the first one. Okay, you will finally solve a difficult problem that means much to you. So that's the first one. Second, new people will bring you new realizations, especially big issues. And now the third aspect of this. Fate loves the fearless. Wow. Okay, so Dominic, let me read these three together to you. You will finally solve a problem, a difficult problem, that means much to you. New people will bring you new realizations, especially big issues. Fate loves the fearless. So... Yes. Yeah, well, you know, uh, uh, the, some some new friends are going to give you a new perspective on something. Careful, be not be friends. Okay, yeah. But the whole point is, you're going to get some answers to some questions, whether they be good or bad answers. But they're going to they're going to answer the questions and, and solve some problems for you. And once that yes, happens, Lord, full speed ahead. Yeah, yeah. Once once you figure out the the solution to some problems, then yeah. You, you're going to be able to go ahead. And if you want to, if, if you're looking into working abroad, um, yeah, that, that could be a possibility. Yeah, it'd be nice to her. Uh, oh. Uh, or uh, uh, working um, <laughs> overseas. Over, overseas or, or uh, in, in another part of your, the European Union. Yes. Yeah. But, uh, but there you go. I think they were waiting to tell you some things, Dominic. So, okay. And uh, I think Audrina was next. And uh, and by the way, thank you for the, the super thanks, guys. Um, <laughs> let's see. Yes, okay. So Audrina and then Sarcastic. No way. <clears throat> Audrina, you've got two. I think a lot of folks have got some messages. Uh, Audrina, if I remember right, you do some work with uh, historical reenactment. So, uh, uh, what you're saying about you know doing you know historical interpretation, um, that that makes a lot of sense. And and again, I think that would be completely awesome. Okay, the first one: follow your heart, and you will find happiness. The second one, everyone agrees you are the best. Follow your heart and you will find happiness. Everyone agrees you are the best. Okay, so sarcastic. Sasset is next. Next. Wow. 
I think we're going to need a bigger bowl. <laughs> Sarcastic, here's your first one. You will reach the highest possible point in your business or profession. And now the second one. Whenever possible, keep it simple. I think they might have just told you how to do this. Uh, you will reach the highest possible point in your business or profession. Whenever possible, keep it simple. I think that's, that's your path to success. Just keep it simple. Okay. So, uh, sarcastic, then Sebekekawe, and then 9 11. Let's see, we got sarcastic, so Sebekekawe. Okay. Come on. Sebekekawe. Push them down in here. Seba Kekawe. Failure is the chance to do better next time. So if, if you're struggling with something right now, keep keep your chin up. You'll have another shot at this. Failure is the chance to do better next time. And uh, the other sense I'm getting is is uh, don't overlook the, the, the chance for it. Uh, to gain experience and introspection and, and uh, insight in whatever's going on because it's going to help you in the future. You know, and if you feel like last year wasn't what you wanted it to be, apply that to this year. You'll have another shot at this. Okay, that's uh, 9-11. Okay. To do nothing is to be nothing. So nine eleven, I got a, I got a sense that uh, there's there's something that. You know, they're telling you that it's like this is their way of poking you and saying, you know, uh, uh, you know what this is. Do it. To do nothing is to be nothing. Okay. And. Uh, All righty. And then Alex. Uh, and then solemn sun regarding how to organize my priorities. One in a time. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, okay. So Alex. And prayers for uh, better opportunities for you, and, and chances for. Not not just, but uh, we've. I know you've been going through a lot, and and we're we're cheering you on, and and we, you know, hope that you get some peace and some closure, and and, you know, sunny skies ahead. Okay, that's weird, because that one landed next to our wax. Land, landed in with the wax, so. Don't open it. Don't touch that one. Okay. And go easy on the shake. 
All right. But you know, I almost wonder if that's saying that we're 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 getting rid of something. Right. So Alex, I, I was I I know you've got some things to get rid of. I think we just did. I think they just got rid of something for you. Yeah. So. There we go. Okay, so Alex, this one is for you. Statistics are no substitute for judgment. So there you go, Alex. Statistics are no substitute for judgment. You know, just just because, and and you know what? It's like you were saying you had problems with uh, uh, like the sign in and stuff like that. What is that? That's kind of statistic. You know, your your uh, uh, your sign in records. Trust your gut is what they're telling you. Yeah. Statistics are no substitute for judgment. Trust your gut. Yeah. It's time to get out of there. Get out of there. If it's time to go total Bruce Lee on somebody, do it. <laughs> well. No, no, not not in this case. But uh, uh, no, the shoot, the, they were having problems with uh, 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 job issues and, and got let go for something that was a bunch of BS. Go find another one. Uh, yeah. Look, as somebody who's had plenty of jobs, there's always another one out there. You got to just go until you find it. Yeah. And and I can say you know uh, uh, um, it's it's not about the size of your paycheck. It's about how do you feel at the end of the day. You know, is is this something that that's if it's soul draining, then you don't need to be doing it. You know. Um, but okay, that was for Alex. Oh, hang on, I'm trying not to knock things over. So step over here. Okay, solemn sign. Yes, regarding how to how to organize my priorities. And uh, okay, and I see. Uh, uh, next will be uh, Mrs. Jackal. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now, Drina's thing is, uh, she works as a uh, uh, historical interpreter. I think that a historical interpretation museum could be a good way to combat misinformation about ancient Egypt here in America. Yeah, um, and and uh, 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 I I totally agree. But uh, you know, the, when, you know, again, one thing at a time. The, when when we have the right opportunity, it'll present itself. So uh, okay, Solomon's done. <clears throat> Winners make their own luck. So solemn sun. Winners make their own luck. So I, I get the sense that they they know that they already know what you're you're thinking, what you're uh, uh, you're weighing. You know, and, and trying to figure out, a, you know, to make a, a priority, and um, it's whatever you put, you know, uh, the most attention to is is going to yield the biggest result. Winners make their own luck, you know, um, and and speaking of somebody that tends to have a, a, a zillion irons in the fire at any given time. You know, it's it's what you choose to focus on that you're gonna, you know, uh, get results from first. You okay, Will? Poor thing, you are just fried. Say some prayers for Darren's mom while we're at it. You know, everybody, because because uh, uh, that's she's the reason why, you know, we had to go down to Lake Charles, and you know, we're we're trying to get some things taken care of for her. 
and um, it's it's been very a lot of work and, and rather draining because we're having to step in and you know take over finances and you know a whole lot of other things you know um, deal with uh, uh, former step family and you know stuff like that so it's it's a mess and poor Darren is wiped down but so. Uh, Okay, so Mrs. Chackle and then Penguin. And then I see some more. Okay, so Mrs. Chackle. Okay, so pass this on to Mrs. Jackal. You will live the life that makes all others not envious, but proud of you. You will live the life that makes all others not envious, but proud of you. And, and that may suggest where to put priorities to, you know, instead of trying to make people jealous, make them, make them proud. And, and, uh, if you're worried about, you know, uh, how how does this come across to others? To, to the people that, that matter, they'll be proud of you. People that are jealous of you, don't worry about them anyway. So, okay, Penguin. Sorry, I like birdies. Of all kinds, but including penguins. So, if I if I say it in kind of a cute way, please don't take it personally. Now, penguin, they're saying, take a vacation. You will have unexpected gains. Read that one more time. Take a vacation. You will have unexpected gains. Okay. All right, next is Serana and Alexandra and then Mary Carol. Okay, and then Rebecca. Hmm. All right. So we'll start with Serana. Serana, what is right is often forgotten by what is convenient. What is right is often forgotten by what is convenient. So don't, if there's an issue, don't take the, don't take the easy way out if it's not the right way. What is right is often forgotten by what is convenient. Okay, and now Alexandra Hurley. Okay, Alexandra, there are no shortcuts to any place worth going. So I have to read that one more time. There are no shortcuts to any place worth going. Or as one survivor of the Donner Party said, don't take no shortcuts. And, and that's, that's, that's the truth. But, uh... Okay, Mary Thra. And then uh, Rebecca. Uh, 
Hmm. Yeah, and I'm just reading some of the comments, and uh, 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 our vendor yeah, made a good point. You know, I know a lady who ran a steampunk convention and then decided to open a museum in a major city, but it became her full-time job. And the con, you know, uh, she didn't have any time for the con. Yeah, and, and that's the thing, too, is, you know, you sit there and you think, well, well, uh, what would be a great thing to, to open just to, to feed money to something else? But, you know, then that's going to take all of your time. So, yes, there's definitely a lot of balance with that. But, uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yes. Yeah, Darren did kind of nap for a minute. Uh, but, uh, Boo? I think he raised his eyebrows a little bit. Um, Alex is sending love and support and prayers your way. Uh, so is Alexandra. So you're, you're getting some love. So, uh, okay. Got Alexandra. Now, Mary Brock. And, and then Rebecca. Mary Draw, your reputation is your wealth. Good for you, honey. Well, well, Mary Draw is very talented. She sings and dances. But and she's also very kind. Yes. Yeah, you're you're also a sweetheart. And so uh, those are things that, that we know about you. And, and uh, 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 you have a, a light that shines out. Uh, so, so cherish that and take care of it because uh, it, it will serve you well, and that's what they're telling you. Your reputation is your wealth. You keep being the good person that you are, and, and uh, don't worry about so finding somebody. Somebody's going to be attracted to you. Yeah, they'll find you. Yeah, because they, they see how awesome you are, and that's what you want. Your reputation is your wealth. Okay, and now for Rebecca. Regarding an upcoming trip. ignore you then they attack you then you win I don't know if this has to do with the, the trip or something else but uh, Rebecca first they ignore you then they attack you then you win so um, whatever that's about just uh, keep holding the course because, you know, and I know you have to deal with a lot of detractors, you know, and, and dealing, especially with, you know, yatzes on the internet. Um, you'll come out in the end. So first they ignore you, then they attack you, then you win. And take it from Horace. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay, very good. Yeah, Alex, and uh, don't, don't, uh, never take no cutoffs and hurry along as fast as you can. Yes. But, uh, hmm. Hmm. Okay, and, uh, uh yeah, sir, I understand that makes the situation even more complicated because there's two convenient solutions and two difficult ones. Well, you know what? You've, I think we've eliminated the convenient ones, so choose between the two difficult ones. 
but uh and uh prayer of thanks to Gav for punishing my landlord oh goodness oh. Hmm. oh god if you see me on mystery 411 prayer <laughs> Well, you know what? I, I I really got the sense that that was about something else, you know, and, and maybe with like internet trolls or, you know, something else that you're dealing with at work or, or whatever. I don't think that was about a, a trip, but uh, yeah. Um, cabin camping in the North Woods. Um, is it a little cold for that or? Yeah, yeah something else I need to know, definitely. Okay, well, if anybody's got any other requests for uh, for divination, you know, we've got the cookies here, and, and if we run out, don't worry, I've got a whole box of other ones, uh, and, you know, prayers, um, so that we can, you know, start the new year, get through the transitions that we need to get to, or get through, and... Uh, I think Mama's segment has wrapped up, Darren. Okay. So folks are sending me some love. Okay. Yeah, this this page always has the cookie crumbs. Yes, and, and uh, uh, hopefully one of the things I can get done this year is, is making a, a print version of this that everyone can get, you know, a copy of. Um, and it'll be better bound for me, too, because this one's seen a lot of use. But uh, the year's only just getting started. There's lots of things that that we can do. Hear us, O Ra. Great Lord of you new, and place your arms of blessing around us. Let us rejoice in your bounty, and our hearts take joy in your kindness. Tell Neet and Upwod to open their ways for us, and may you protect us with your strong arm of compassion. For you are the All Lord, the Lord of Ma'at. Holy and splendid is your name. Kepri at dawn, a tomb at dusk. Ra Horaketi. As you rule the nine. Okay. Okay. Uh, the story says, I'm going to need uh, prayers for the local community for inner strength and lots of luck. Um. <laughs> Okay. Hi, Mitch, Mitch Twitch. You made it. Hey, uh, well, to tell you what, Mitch Twitch, do you, did you have a request? Like, were you hoping to get a, a, a divination? Just just uh, let us know and we'll pull one for you. Um, and I asked her, do we have both boxes? Uh, yeah, we, we get those every every couple of months or so. And so, uh, uh, yeah, um, someone is very sweet to us and uh, has, has uh been very supportive of our church. So. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay, divination for my poo. All right. So uh Mitch Twitch made it just in time. So Twitch. No one has a good enough memory to make a successful liar. That's not a warning. Hmm. That's that's them telling you somebody's filling you full of crap. Go back and pay attention to what they've said. There's holes in it. 
That's what I was wondering, too. Because no one has a good enough memory to make a successful liar. Um, yeah, you'll you'll uh, you'll you'll figure out where the, those inconsistencies are. Just pay attention. I guess that's that's on a hotel, and you pay attention because somebody's not on the up and up. And right the now. other thing is, if you happen to be the one with the inconsistencies, they're warning you: stop it. It's much easier to tell the truth. Mm -hmm. But either way, you've been given some very good advice. Yeah. Take it. Use it. And and consider that this comes from the one who works the scales. So. And uh, Mitch Twitch, uh, uh, I know you, you're only just now coming in. Uh, we were, you know, celebrating the, uh, uh, the the feast of victory of Horus. Which is the the ritual accompaniment to the uh, uh, the the video? Uh, if if you haven't seen it yet, go go check out the the little animated video that we did, because that was uh, for you know the this holiday, you know at, at the beginning of the year. So, and uh, we we hope you're doing well. And if anyone's got any other prayer requests before we wrap up, just let us know. Sorry, I said, uh, oops, dad called me out. I mean, so. That's what we're here for. <laughs> okay. Next time he bites off me. <laughs> Next time he bites off me. <laughs> All right, I'm going to read one, another prayer, and then uh, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll do our wrap up. So, Oyenachuru, may you grant life, prosperity, and health, alertness, favors, and affection. May our eyes see you every day, as righteous ones who set you in their hearts. Supply our needs of bread and drink, and guard our mouths in speaking. Come to us and give us counsel. Make us heedful of your wisdom. When one appeals to you, you come from afar. Lend your ears to the lonely and the poor. May you give breath to those who are wretched and breath bread to those who have none. Guardians of the weak, may you set the oppressed free and let your blessings surpass all wealth. Hail unto you, Atum. Hail unto you, Hephri. You come into being upon the primeval hill. You shine forth upon the shrine of the phoenix in you new. You breathe out Shu and Tefnut. May the giving of these offerings endure, as the name of Atum, foremost of the great Enid, endures. May they endure, as the name of Shu, Lord of Upper Menset in you new, endures. As the name of Tefnut, mistress of lower menset, in you knew, endures. As the name of Geb at the earth's ba endures. As the name of Newt in the shrine of Shinit, in you knew, endures. As the name of Osir, Kentiamentiu, endures. As the name of Aset in Necheru, endures. As the name of Sutek in Nubet, endures. As the name of Horus in Pei endures. As the name of Wajit in Dep endures. As the name of Jihuti in Khemenyu endures. As the name of Ra in the Akhet endures likewise for eternity. Yes, and even though Set is the bad guy in the, the, uh, the Feast of Victory, that doesn't mean that we, we don't love him. It's just we're... You know, we're, we're casting out the bad parts of him. <laughs> you have come in peace, O Ra. You've come in peace, O Hodor Saset. Baset. You have come in peace, O Yunachuru. May you go forth in peace, O Ra. May you go forth in peace, O Yunachuru, 
to every place your immortal cause wish to be. May you sail in joy in the manjet bark and rest content in the sectet bark. And may you smile upon us, your humble servants. And praise also to Jehuti, who is uh, in, and to Konsu on this night of the full moon. Okay, guys. Well, thank you for. Uh, okay, good. It's only a quarter after after an hour, so I was concerned it might have been kind of dragging on a little bit. But uh, thank you guys for tuning in as always. And uh, okay, so Mundum uh, Guru and Marang uh, Narang, which is thank you and good night, and Wirajiri, uh, one of several hundred uh, in indigenous languages here in Australia. That's awesome. Thank you so much. And. Uh, Of course, here in uh, Louisiana, um, there's there's not not very much French spoken anymore, but uh, uh, that that's used to be one of the common languages here. So merci, live prosperity and health to everyone, and uh, looking forward to seeing you again um, next Friday. Love you guys. Big hugs, everybody, and y'all, everyone be well. Y'all have a good week. <laughs>